How fortunate we are today to have Carrie Irvin bring her dogs in, the Weimaraners from Heartland Weimaraner Rescue. How are you? Good, good. Thanks Excellent. for having us on. Excellent. And you've got some helpers here, I see. Yes. Because these are large dogs and they are energetic. Uh, yes, and, yes. And uh, the Wimes are wonderful. My Dog Talk girls have got some information that, and they wanted to ask some questions okay. about Wimes. Can Perfect. we do that? Yeah. What do you think, McKenna? Awesome. Yeah? You have a question? I do. So what if Weimaraner owners um, did... If one hundred owners um, are not able to do interactive dog sports, what's another option? Um, you know, WIMES are very active. They're very people-oriented. So anything that you're doing that's active, they like to be a part of. So it doesn't really even have to be sports. They like to hike and camp and swim. Um, we do have a lot of adopters that will um, run with their WIMES. Mm -hmm. So running is a big thing. We actually do our 5K event you know, every year as part of that to kind of um, get the word out about them, but they are very energetic. There's not necessarily a particular thing that they do. You know, they but were they, bred they to like hunt. To, they yeah. like to interact and they like to be with their owners. Exactly. This, is, this breed came from Weimar, Germany, which is mm -hmm. in that particular time that they were bred. They were actually bred for hunting. These dogs hunted deer, boar, yes, anything. Large game. That, large, yes. large game. And then, of course, the large game became a little bit less accessible. So they started hunting quail and mm -hmm. then started hunting birds and that yes. smaller animals. And... Um, the, the breed was actually, I think, in 1929 brought over here. And um, the, uh, unfortunately, people fell in love with the color yes. and the size. And so they bred a little bit of the hunting out of them. Mm -hmm. They were more a confirmation dog. But they'd never bred out the desire of, that these dogs had to be around people. Oh, definitely not. They do not. love people. And uh, as you can see, they're very active. <laughs> this We're one wants to, to play. play. <laughs> yes. So you had a question, Renee? Yes. I've heard that Weimaraners are great family dogs. Mm -hmm. And since they're a medium-sized athletic dog, do they require training? They do. Um, they are very, very people-oriented. They make great family pets. They're great with kids and adults. Um, you know, they like to be part of the family. We call them Velcro dogs because they like to follow you everywhere they you really go. They really do. They really um, bond. And they are smart. You know, we actually, right here on the top of their head, you can see a little bump, and we call that the smart bump. <laughs> um, you know, they are very human-like, toddler-like almost in their interactions, and they yeah, like and to. Yeah, they, and they do need some basic, yes. uh, obviously, some yes. basic training. What do you think, McKenna? You have another question? I do. So what's the main cause of Weimar Reiners being in rescues? Well, around here, um, the biggest reason reason is people fall in love with those floppy little ears when they're puppies and they're just velvety and those bright blue eyes and they don't fully understand what it takes to be a Weimaraner owner just because they are so energetic and they like to be part of the family. They're definitely not one of those dogs that you can throw in the backyard and ask to be a guard dog or anything of that nature. So they get to be about this size and then they're too much for the family and they will release them over to the rescues. I've heard that Weimaraners were bred for hunting, and I've heard they also have excelled in other <laughs> uh, various sports. Could you name a few? Yeah, so they um, actually, you know, since they don't hunt quite as frequently as they did for the larger games, they are more quail and bird dogs. They have webbed feet, so they're excellent swimmers, so they do actually do some dock trials and things like that. And then agility is one of the big things that we see Weimaraners and Cowpoke over here um, is actually um, doing agility now. She's to start some of those trials she's very pretty obedient soon. Yes, to this she gentleman is. You can tell she's a little more seasoned. She's a little, little <laughs> laid back. Guys. And they, I have seen them running in lure coursing events, oh, so yes. this is a, yes. it's true too. So what, uh, you have another question? Um, yes, I do. So You want to answer? Okay. <laughs> so what, um, wait, what? You, well, if you don't, if you think about it, and we'll get a question from, from Renee. What do you think, Renee? Uh, do they have any predispositions for health problems? Um, overall, they're pretty healthy. You know, they are deep-chested dogs. You can see in all of these guys. So um, bloat is always a concern. Um, we do tend to feed multiple times throughout the day to kind of offset that hip dysplasia every now and again. Um, and you got to clean their ears. You know, these yeah, big floppy ears. Exactly. Keep those clean so that they don't have ear infections. But overall, they're pretty easy to take care of. And, you know, you watch for a few things and you're pretty good.
Excellent. So if we wanted to rescue one of these dogs, how do we reach you? You can actually go out to our website. It's heartlandwimerescue.org. Um, and you can fill out an adoption application. We're also on Facebook. You can find us there. Um, we do a 5K event. It's called the Ghost Runners 5K. That's always an option to come out and you know meet them and kind of get an idea of exactly. what you think. We typically do that in October, so be be looking for that on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, these these are wonderful dogs, guys. And it does. You have to realize that as a as a dog of medium to large size, and some of these do you know, turn out to be a little larger than the medium-sized dogs. They require a lot of exercise. They do. So you don't get one of these dogs and throw them out in the backyard or bring them in and not without training because it's very, very important. Give them the exercise. Know what you're getting. Go to the rescue. See some of these. And I might add, if you really think you might but are not quite sure, foster one. Yes, definitely. Am We're right? always looking for volunteers to help with our events and then also foster the dogs. So. Foster the dogs. You'll get to know the dogs. If it is not right for your family and not, not a right fit, you know, then you have the option of uh, returning the dog because these dogs are in demand because they're so sweet. They're they so are. They are. Yeah, and we appreciate it so <laughs> yeah, much. Sure. We thank would you like so to make a five hundred dollar donation oh, that'd be fantastic. to your organization. Yes, thank you. And thank you so much for bringing them out. You have been a very patient man. <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with a lovely little female dog here. She is just lovely. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back.